Long, short, brown, white rice comes in many colours and sizes. But farmers here in Ghana can't meet local demand for the staple food stuff. Annual imports are around half a billion US dollars, according to the country's main rice union. And not only does Ghana not grow enough, but smaller producers find it difficult to compete against global giants. Rice that is coming from the West and uh, Thailand and is controlled by the West, they, have, they come with a lot of powerful adverts. And uh, we, we are trying to find a way to create a platform that people can have access to the local rice, taste it and see that, ah, my rice is as good as the imported one and even better. In the majority of West African countries, short grain or brown rice is most popular, but Ghanaians have developed a taste for long grain varieties like jasmine or basmati. Now, previously, these were only available as imports, but now scientists here in Ghana have worked out ways to develop and grow these types of rice here. In terms of quality, local rice is also struggling to compete with overseas brands. Traditionally, Ghanaian farmers dry harvested rice outside, uncovered in the open air, making it vulnerable to rain and pests. That's where Evans, Peter and Sears' invention can help. What we see here is a one metric ton solar dryer and it's hybridized with uh, gas so that in the night and uh, when the relative humidity is very high and when it is raining we can still dry. Insia's dryer is inspired by similar machines from the Philippines. It cuts rice drying times by half. The higher temperatures kill any pests and the cover keeps rice clear of dirt and debris. It's 100% made in Ghana and run by solar power, which helps to keep the prices down. The farmers can dry their produce, which comes out very wet at harvest time. Uh, reduce it to a very safe storage uh, MC level so that it can keep longer on the shelves. And also it can enhance the quality and really give it a premium in the market price. Ghana still has a way to go before local rice dominates supermarket shelves. But innovations like these mean rice made in Ghana does stand a better chance against worldwide competition. Katrina Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra, Ghana.